Salat El Kair from Petra Jordan. In our last video, we explored in Wadi Rum for 24 hours. And today, we are in Petra for only one day. This is our fourth world wonder and our third this year. of the night. This is the road we're supposed to be able to drive on to get to Petra and park. We're only five minutes away from our hotel, but it's completely blocked off and it's full of construction. So we're going to go around and see if there's an alternate entrance and if that alternate entrance even has parking. Still looking for parking for Petra. It's supposed to be free, but we've had two dead ends so far. The guy said it should be up there. Parking. Check. Come one with the two We got our tickets really easy. It's 50 JD per person for one day, and it's only an extra 5 JD per person for each additional day up to three days. If you are coming to Jordan though, we messed up on this. We should have gotten the Jordan pass because it includes your visa into the country, which is 40 JD, as well as one day to Petra for only 70 JD. So right there, the pass and the visa is 90 JD. So you save 20 just by doing that. Plus you get access to over 40 different sites here in Jordan. Well worth it. Thank you so much. Sir? Oh, sorry. Okay. Ah, there we go, second time. Got the technology here is so impressive. QR codes to get into the country, QR codes to get into Petra, and they all work, which is not always the case. <laughs> right as we walk in through the entrance here, there's a bunch of people asking if we want horse rides. No horse, Jim. No, thank you. Thanks for asking. And they keep saying it's free, it's free, because it is included with your ticket. If you look on the back of your ticket, it says horse ride included. However, once they take you, they ask for crazy amounts of tips. So not gonna do that today. We're just gonna walk into the treasury. It should be about a 30 minute walk. I think we can handle that. Say that now. We'll see. This is our first stop at one of the tombs and it's already incredible. I've never even heard of this one. It's called Obelisk Tomb. I'm just so excited because it's the first one we've seen and there's so much more to see. Petra is massive. Behind me here is the start of the Sick, which is the entrance into Petra and the reason that this city is still here today. The city was just untouchable. Nobody could attack them through this tiny little cavern without being stopped first. So they never were attacked and everything is still there. I made a joke earlier that the sick was formed and at the bottom was a paved road. I was kidding, but it was kind of true because they did put a paved road through the sick in the first century. That's crazy. I think the remnants are still here. As if this wasn't already impressive enough, paved road. They had time for that apparently. I'm so impressed by people. <laughs> Human beings are very, very impressive. Oh my gosh. This is the main thing to see here in Petra. It's where everybody takes their pictures. It's 
pretty easily accessible, but this is the treasury, as it's called now. It's actually an urn, which is right up at the very, very top in the center. And it's a tomb for a past king who lived here in the Petra area. It's incredible. Like, how is this possible? How is this possible today? How is this possible so long ago? The detail is remarkable. And it's just carved in to the wall. From that to that. This is just, I'm speechless. There are some places to get drinks and snacks inside, but we decided to bring our own lunch, including pretzels and peanut butter sandwiches. <laughs> The treasury is 40 meters high and it was hand carved into the stone. And they used a method where they worked from the top down and on the sides of the treasury, you can actually see the ladder system they used to continue down until it was complete. Oh my God. <laughs> this is crazy. I'm inside one of the tombs at Petra. It's not much. It's so quiet in here. <laughs> Is it really? It's really weird. There's a lot of rock above me. They don't actually know when Petra was built, but they do know that in the first century BC that this was a major stop on the trade route between Mesopotamia and Egypt. And standing here today, we kind of get that same feeling of people bustling through lots of shops and vendors set up all along the way, camels and donkeys, and it almost feels like we're thrown back in time. Maybe not exactly to the first century BC, but something similar. <laughs> Behind me is the theater. It is the only theater in the world that is carved into stone and it seats 4,000 people. As we've been walking around and especially here at the theater, we've noticed that Petra is probably one of the least restrictive ancient sites we've been to. For example, when we were in Chichen Itza in Mexico, you really couldn't experience any of the ruins. You couldn't walk through them, you couldn't walk in them. It was more like an outdoor museum. But here, it's a little more free to roam. People are kind of climbing on things and you can walk through things. It's more interactive in that way, which gives us more of that exploration type feeling that we love so much from traveling. beautiful and quiet in here and the colors of the rocks it's just look at the ceiling this is the palace tomb and it was most likely used for banquets or funeral services it's large so that makes sense We have been here for four hours already and I feel like we haven't even made a dent in all the things to see at Petra. We're currently on number eight of 15, but the big one is the monastery and that's still another hour to two hour walk from here. We have to be out of here by five. So we're gonna kick it into high gear and make it all the way to the monastery, even though it's gonna be really tough and hot, but Nate wants to see it. So can't disappoint. speed round as we get to the monastery. This is Kassar al Bint, and it's actually not built into the rocks, which is a unique feature of this temple. It was the most important temple, which is different than all the other ones because the other ones were tombs where you would be buried after you died. And this was dedicated to the gods and goddesses of Petra. Oh 
like 800 steps on the way to the monastery, so it's very hard. <laughs> it's hot out. It's the middle of the day. <laughs> oh yeah, it is. Oh my gosh. This is the monastery, standing at 48.3 meters high. It is the largest monument here at Petra. It was once used for meetings for religious associations and later repurposed as a Christian chapel, hence the name, the monastery. The crazy thing about the monastery is that not only is it built into the side of this rock, but they had to dig so far in. The rock ended all the way out here and they dug and dug and dug and then designed the monastery. And since you work so hard to get to the monastery, they place a really nice restaurant behind it with coffee, tea, snacks, water, anything you need. And they have some really nice tables and benches so you can sit and enjoy the fruits of your labor and just look at this beautiful, beautiful monument. Made it. <sighs> My feet hurt. Mine do too. All in, it took us about two and a half hours, but that was with a very long stop at the top and some eating. But going up, it took us about 40 to 45 minutes and going down about 25. So we definitely beat the estimation in the Jordan pamphlet. What's wrong? <laughs> One last stop is to get an aerial view of the treasury and we have to go on a hike. I think it's this one, I hope. You don't wanna go, huh? It's okay if we don't, baby. What do you think we should? Maybe it won't be an hour. Maybe it'll be more like 40 minutes, but we have already seen it. Not the view, but we've seen the treasury, so it's okay. Okay, let's do it. You got this. You're doing great. Thanks. I am gassed. We are trying to do this hike. It's all stairs, it's all uphill. It's gonna probably take like an hour. And then we're just gonna check right now. I'm like slurring my words, I can't even talk. We're gonna check right now, see if we have the headlamps, cause it's probably gonna be dark by the time we try to come back down. One, two, good. Boom. Just kinda hoping that was my out. <laughs> <laughs> Petra has a nickname of Red Rose City because at a certain time of day, the light shines on it and makes all the rocks look like this rock here, just a vibrant rose colored red. This is so pretty. At the end, there's a Bedouin tent that you have to basically go through to get the right view. So you just have to buy something to kind of gain admission, I guess you could say. Oh, wow. We made it into the hut here and the man actually takes pictures for you. I'm sure he has the best angle since he's up here all day, every day. We ordered two teas, but there's actually quite a few other people and we just wait in line until it's our turn. Hopefully it'll still be light enough. It's five o'clock. I'm pretty sure Petra is actually closed, but we are enjoying some tea from the best view in the entire place. <laughs> and we'll be back in about three and a half hours to come see it in a totally different light. That is a black arrow. We're slightly lost and it's getting darker, but we do have our headlamps. Did we really come down this? Black arrows. Yes, more here. We're back. We're back? All right, good. Because I honestly was going to go that way. So I'm really glad. Okay, now it's all path. Yeah. Woohoo! Petra, my night performance. Yeah. Moment 
of the night. Yep. You ready? Come here with me. There you go. And God bless you, everybody. Thanks for your presence and your listening. Thank you. We just got back from Petra by night. I'm not sold on it. It's like a must-see experience, but I am very much sold on Petra being an absolute must, especially being a world wonder in our fourth it's up there with Machu Picchu for us as one of our favorite world wonders so far. And we're really bummed we only got one day because it was like a national park. It was a massive with a ton of hikes to do. <laughs> All in, we put in over 36,000 steps today and my feet are tired. Very tired. So we hope you liked this video. If you did, hit the like button below. And if you want to stamp your passports with us again, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and check us out in the next video to see us travel again, hopefully to another country. We don't know if we can get in. Yeah. That's all we're going to say. <laughs> Good night. I, I know it's not a toy. Oh. It's not a toy. I promise. <laughs> It's a microphone. <laughs> Human beings are very, very impressive. I don't feel like I am, but like other people. An iPad? What's wrong with your phone? But it was the most important temple and yeah. Right? Come on. Well, if we had a like for every yawn, we'd go viral every video. <laughs> Hence the name. <laughs> Hence the name. What is the name? Monastery. Thank you. <laughs> what happened there, babe? Got a little carried away with the water. Just no, uh, nothing new for me. Behind me is the Coliseum. It is nope. the Coliseum. <laughs> That's Going Friday. there next week. <laughs> this week. This week. How are we still standing?